everyone. So um, this is Trinity and we are doing um, some DIY work right here to create our own all natural disinfectant spray. Um, we, um, our hearts go out to all those who've been negatively impacted by the coronavirus and we just want to um, share some positive energy, send love, blessings, and let everyone know that we're saying prayers for them during this time. Um, so um, I found that Finding disinfectant sprays in the stores or online, it's like impossible right now. So I started to look into different types of home remedies or natural ways that we could create disinfectants that are effective um, against viruses and bacteria. And so I'm gonna give us some, uh, just take us through some mixtures to create our own spray today. Uh, first, you want to use distilled water Okay, so you don't want to use tap water because of the properties that come through, the impurities that's in that water. It can affect the mixture once you're done with it. So you want to use distilled water. You can create your own distilled water by boiling on the, on the stove. So if you can't find some in the store or you don't want to pay for it, just boil it. Let it cool off before you put it in a, in a storing bottle though, okay? Um, we're going to use distilled vinegar. With this mixture, you can use vinegar, um, distilled, so the white vinegar, not really the apple cider vinegar. It can be used for cleansing, but more so this is the type that you want to use for cleansing because it doesn't have the mother that the apple cider vinegar does. And usually you want to save that for, you know, ingestion. Um, we really don't ingest distilled vinegar, at least I don't. You may like it, but I don't. Anyway, so distilled vinegar. You can also use isopropyl alcohol. You should use at least 60% if you're gonna use it for disinfectant and also, uh, I would say, low-grade vodka, okay, if you're out in the field. But today we're gonna to use vinegar. And also I have a plethora of essential oils. So here we have the tea tree oil, which is a known antibacterial and antiviral. You also have lemon oil. There is lavender, peppermint, and then my favorites are frankincense and myrrh. Yes, boys and girls, these can be used as disinfectant sprays. Uh huh. And then I just have some of my favorites because I just love spearmint, and I'm so spearmint. And then eucalyptus, who doesn't want a spa experience, right? You want a spa experience. So you can use this just for like in your bath and during this time, just ways to um, get relaxation. So if you're in the shower, taking a bath, Spearmint and eucalyptus are really nice oils to kind of put in your puff or put in your bath water, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do um, 32 ounces of cleanser. So I got this handy dandy cobalt bottle from Amazon and it came in a pack of four. I think you can also get a pack of two single and you may be able to get more too. But we're gonna use this spray bottle which is 32 ounces. And I'm gonna go ahead and get us started. I have my droppers okay so you want to use separate droppers if you have essential oils that are smaller that has the um, dropper on top like so then you won't need to use droppers you can just use the smaller bottles okay but for the sake of the video we're going to go ahead and use the droppers because i'm going to pull from the larger bottles now this particular bottle is going to be for my dear friend annette so annette would you like the lemon lavender peppermint mixture or would you like frankincense and myrrh what do you um, think? Well, um, the coon smelled really nicely right. today, so okay. maybe let's go with one? lemon. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. So what we used at the coon was a mixture of the lavender, peppermint, and the um, the lemon. And I also used a little bit of lemongrass in that mixture ah, too. Okay. So I don't have that here in the bottles, but I'll put some in afterwards, okay? So the way that we're gonna start off, if you need a measuring glass, um, my grandmama, she kind of trained me to measure by feeling, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to use a measuring cup, or if you have a large bottle, you can use um, a glass picture, and I like to use glass to mixture, even though I'm going to put it in a plastic bottle. Plastic is great because if you drop it, it won't shatter, okay, so it, it's a little more resilient. So I'm going to start first for the 32 ounces. Um, depending on how much you like or dislike the smell of vinegar, you can go anywhere from two to six ounces. So for this recipe, I will start with two ounces. Okay, almost there. 
So we'll do about two ounces of vinegar. And I like to use the containers with pouring spouts so that it's easier to put it in this bottle. Um, if you do not have um, either a pitcher or a measuring glass, you can also use a funnel. And that's the thingy that you put on top and you just put the liquid in and it goes right in, okay? So that's the vinegar. And now I'm gonna use distilled water. So I really don't need the measuring for that. So I'm just gonna pour my distilled water in the pitcher because I wanna make sure that I get it all in the bottle and not all over the table. <laughs> all right. Yes, yes, me and my steady hand, let me tell you. So you're gonna take the water, you're just gonna pour it in. So I like to do the large mixture first. Actually, it's, uh, it's good to do the main ingredients with the water and the distilled vinegar first because you can at least get a smell or get a, um, you get a feel of how much vinegar or how much vinegar smell is going to be in. So you can then determine if you want to use more essential oils or less. Okay. The great thing about making your own disinfectant is that when you begin to run low, guess what? You can make some more. Mm -hmm. Right? Who doesn't want to have that type of empowerment? All right, so that is about 32 ounces right there. So now I start with the tea tree, okay? So tea tree, which is the natural antiviral antibacterial, I take my dropper. And when you're working with essential oils, you do not want to use the same dropper. You wanna use a different dropper per oil, okay? Not to mix them and um, compromise the integrity of each of the oils. So for 32 ounces, I start off, and this is me personally, anywhere from 20 to 30 drops of tea tree. And that's because this is a, a powerful and effective disinfectant. Uh, tea tree oil has many great purposes. You can use it for skin. Mm -hmm. You can use it as a cleanser. You can use it for your hair. You can use it... Oh, and I, I use tea tree oil for my natural toothpaste and my oh. mouthwash, too. Yeah, because it kills all types of bacteria. That's so this is idea. about, I'm putting about 30 drops. And when you're using a natural disinfectant, guys, one of the things that you may not know is that when you use it to clean surfaces, you want to allow it to sit for about five minutes before you wipe it up, mm -hmm. okay? Because it is all natural. It may take a little bit more time than the conventional disinfectants. Um, the disadvantage of conventional disinfectants, and I won't name any names, but you know what conventional means, is the ones that you buy off the store in the aerosol cans. Is number one, the aerosol cans, it disrupts the ozone layer. We know that. Yeah. If you don't, it does. And then also, you know, it can be toxic because it has, um, so many different uh, chemicals in it, okay? Bleach. And yeah, and sometimes even, even bleach. So the benefit of doing the all natural is that it is non-toxic, you can use it around children. I always say take into consideration allergies. If you have someone who's um, sensitive to certain types of plants like lavender or eucalyptus, then you may wanna also be wary of that. Also, for pet owners, you want to be careful with anything with essential oils around your kitties and your puppies because sometimes it can prove to be um, unhealthy for them. So just take that into consideration when using this homemade disinfectant. I just put a few drops of lavender. So with that, I used about the same amount as the tea tree oil. Um, for this particular one, I put 25 drops instead of 30. Okay. okay. So next we're gonna go on to peppermint. Would you like mm. peppermint? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna put some peppermint up in here. Hold I can, on. I can smell the... Can you already yes, smell the goodness? Yes, I can. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah. So with the peppermint, the same thing. You can use anywhere from, I would say, 10 to 20 drops. Mm -hmm. And also know, boys and girls, that you may have your, your personal preference of which fragrance you like to smell more of. So as long as you have the base tea tree, and lavender is also known as a disinfectant, you know, lemon is purifying. Peppermint is also, it also has great cleansing properties. Mm -hmm. Detox, um, yeah. And detox too, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but you, um, like I said, as long as you have that tea tree oil and you want to use, for this mixture, you want to make sure you use the lavender as well. Okay. okay. Lemon, um, some people like it, some people don't. Hi. Hey, baby, this is Freddie. Hi. Hi. See you. Okay. Hi. You to say hi. hi. He's letting us, uh, letting us use his phone right now. He's yes. so thoughtful. We took over the kitchen uh, for your... Um, All right, so I'm going to put a few drops of lemon, okay, and with lemon I would use 5 to 10 drops. If lemon is your thing, you can do a different mixture that includes more lemongrass and lemon droplets mm -hmm. um, to replace the peppermint and, um, and, uh, and the lavender, okay. So as long as you keep that tea tree in there, you'll definitely have the disinfecting properties going on, okay. Now, now yes. you, I got a question. Um, mm -hmm. How many um, essential oils have you mixed together? What's What would you recommend? So you when did... I would say first, when mixing essential oils, you want to do research on which essential oils are safe to mix okay. together. Mm -hmm. So these that I mix together, um, they're pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. So they're good to mix with one another. So. Lemon is pretty neutral. Um, lavender and tea tree, you can mix these together and it's okay. Right. Um, even adding the peppermint is okay. I would not mix, the, I wouldn't do this mixture with the frankincense oh, and myrrh. Oh, okay. Frankincense and myrrh is more earthy and grounded. It has like, um, uh, it's been described as like a woodsy mm -hmm. fragrance and um, it just doesn't do well with this with what we're doing okay. here with the peppermint, lemon, and lavender. Mm -hmm. um, you can add the tea tree to it, however. Oh. So you can put some tea tree in there and then add the frankincense and myrrh. But that's why I was asking if you would prefer this mixture or this one. Okay. So you can use, I would say, you know, go with your preference. Just yeah. use, make sure you have that tea tree in there because that, that's it. That's, a that's the base. Right? Mm -hmm. And then choose which ones you like and do research on whether or not it's good to mix them together or not. Okay. okay. And then go from there. I'm, I'm a huge advocate on reading up. So after you guys see the video, if there's something that you learn or something that you want to share, I would say share. Okay. Because I'm all about learning. Um, so now, so after you drop your essential oils in, did we get everything in there, Sissy? Tea yeah, tree, I think so. Lavender. Did we put some lemon in. Did we get some peppermint? I don't think so. Okay, think well let's put a, let's yeah. put a couple drops of peppermint up in churn. All right, and again, I have my peppermint dropper. All right, I just want to give a shout out to all the students. Of Freddy's Modern Kung Fu. Thank y'all so much for your support. <laughs> I hope that you guys are uh, remaining diligent in your movement, practicing the forms at home, yeah. getting your workout on. Yes. And keeping good energy flowing. Keep, yes, great <laughs> energy, right? So now I am going to do a light mix. Now using certain spray bottles, I'm going to give you an example, like this particular one, and again, I purchased this one from Amazon as well. But this spray bottle is wonderful because it's, an all, it's a powerful spray, so when you push down on this um, trigger, it just wow. across the room. That type of pressure is natural because it uses air. It uses <laughs> air ventilation to get the, the, the power, not the aerosol um, model. So because of that, it has certain air pockets that, that are in the 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 top so you don't want to invert it okay oh. so you don't want to invert it while you're shaking it you don't want to store it inverted because it'll leak through the ventilation system that provides the power behind the spray so whenever you're mixing in this particular type of bottle and you and it'll indicate on the labeling so you know you want to do more of a Mixing swirling. Like so, okay, yeah. swirling, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna make this for my mom-in-law. Okay, oh. so this is for you, mom. Miss Wendy. So that'll be for Mama Wendy. And then this yeah. one, it's different. Is you have to spray a little bit more because it doesn't have that shh effect, right? Mm -hmm. Love my sound effects. Whatever you do. So yeah. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a light twirl. Shaking, okay. Or you can shake it. And I would say do it until you kind of see where the oils kind of woo, get all nice and woozy. All right. Okay. And then 
your Voila. disinfectant spray is ready, ready, right? And then the last part is labeling. Because why? Because it's just fun to do creative stuff, especially during this time of quarantining and isolation. So what I call this is TT's Anti-Rona's <laughs> All Natural Disinfectant Spray. I'm TT. Like yes. Anti-Rona is the virus. The virus. Yeah. Corona virus. You get it? <laughs> you got it, baby? So, so, yeah. <laughs> but it is anti spelled anti, A-N-T-I, yes. because it does kill all those germs and bacteria. So you put the labeling on. And also, I, um, I just placed the oils and the ingredients, the contents of the bottle. So Thank that you. when Sissy wants to create more of it, she remembers what, what was there. placed. And this one is, can I tell you, homemade for real. I homemade the label using um, an index card it and looks mailing tape. Fantastic. Because I could not find my, you know, my <laughs> fancy schmancy <laughs> laminated self-adhesive labels. Aww. So I created my own. Yeah. It looks so great. The tape, right? So the tape should keep it waterproof, <laughs> and if not, you can replace it. <laughs> yes. But yeah, but this is this is it. And then, like I said, just do some research on the essential oils that you may prefer, the ones that you may like best. Um, know that there are some that go well together, and there are some that you want to not mix together. Um, be wary around um, children and adults who may have allergies, and also be careful around your pets, okay? Because I do know that kitties really don't do well around essential oils, okay? Distilled water, not tap water. Distilled vinegar, not apple cider vinegar. And then just have a good time creating things during this time. We love you guys. We're very thankful for your um, your attention and for spending time with us. And I wish you well. Peace and blessings. Love and light. Thank you, Trinity. Take care. Thank you. So this was Trinity from her own private home, Apothecary. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>